Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a long time, but we're finally back with some more of Let's Play Dark Cloud. It's been about three weeks since my last video was posted. I recorded about 15 videos worth over spring break and didn't think to record any more. Uh, and yeah, ran out of my videos and ran out of time because school is being hectic lately. It's mostly because it's the last half of the semester and the last three weeks now, so things are coming really quickly and being really stressful. But, I figured it's been way overdue for some more of my Let's Play. It's been like three weeks now, and hopefully I'll get some good recording done today, and I can post for... I don't know, we'll see. I would like to keep up the daily thing, even though... I only have, like, one person watching these videos, but that's okay. I enjoy doing it, and maybe eventually, someday, people will notice. And I forgot to set my timer! Yay! I'm going to... Oh, shoot! There's something else I forgot to do, too. Uh, yeah. I... After the last video, I ran around and collected up all the items in town, and you're thirsty. I collected every little chest I could find, and I wrote them all down, I stole the list, but I completely forgot that I was going to mention that to you guys. So just a quick rundown, I found a hell of a lot of items. In Macho's house, I found two plus three endurance attachments these things right here. In uh, my house, quote-unquote, I found a Fruit of Eden uh, and a gourd, actually two gourds, some repair powder, tasty water, bread, and another attack. For which, I don't really need to go through the whole list, I guess. That's kind of silly. But basically, I found a lot of items, uh, mostly a lot of these Fruit of Edens, uh, pockets, uh, gourds and various kind of upgrade items. Uh, and I did at least wait to do the Fruit of Edens and Gourds on camera, which means I didn't need to drink. Oops. Because, well, I figured I didn't want to do everything off camera. So we'll give two of the Fruit of Edens to Tone slash String here, and two of the Gourds. So now he's got 90 hit points and six whole droplets of water. Droplets of thirst. I don't think six drops would really quench much thirst, but whatever. And then Zhao will also match. Uh, oh, I did get some of their... I got a tasty... Like, I can't remember what... Hers is like sweet fish and his is like some pie or something. I got their defensive power buffs and experimented with them a little to see how random they are. And it seems like they get between like five and seven, so five, six, or seven each time. I didn't really try to min-max too much, but yeah, I did that off camera so I could experiment. And I got another pocket, which I'll give to Zhao, because it doesn't actually matter. Because they all have a communal inventory. And look at all this space. Oh, that's amazing. Except these other things never get more space, but that's okay. That is okay. Oh, and I did find... I'm not sure if what I did in the last video. Like, I, it's been so long since I last played this. But I might have shown you the finished town and the windmill and stuff like that. Inside the windmill, we found... There we go. The Horned Key. The key to enter Dran's room. So now we can fight the boss. Or go plead to Dran for help, because clearly he's not a boss or anything, no. There's a horn-shaped keyhole. Use item with square? Yes. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's been a while, so I don't know how well this fight will go. I did actually already do this fight uh, twice. Uh... I recorded an hour worth of footage right after, like, in the same session, and it was really 
I don't know, something happened, it was really bad quality. And then later on, like about a week and a half ago, I was like, oh, I really should record, I'll try it. And I d was doing the fight, and my computer blue screened of death. Blue screen of death? I don't know if that's a verb or not. And corrupted the software I used to record. I had to completely reinstall it, I changed my settings, so settings may be off, I apologize, but I had to redo everything, which wasn't too much of a pain, but yeah, it sucked. So anyway, I'll try to do our recording today, and hopefully it'll work. If not, it's getting posted anyway, because, well, it's been too long. So, that's enough of, like, five minutes of rambling of me, let's get to the boss fight. Be careful, String. Seems like Brad is being manipulated. Then there's no choice but to fight him. Use our power to break the spell. You mean my sword? Would just stabbing him a bunch break the spell? Because I... I don't think that's how spells work. Do, do spells work that way? Okay. Come on, Dren. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Ah, no. Not with the fireballs already. I hate that! God, you suck. Come on. Stop. Stop with the fireballs. Stop being a jerk. He's gonna get rid of the whole arena at this rate. Jeez. How do I target? Oh, there we go. Uh, there. And switch. And stab. Stab! Stab, I say! Ah, oh, stab him! 99 damage. Holy cow. I am overpowered! Way overpowered. Alright, come on. Land. Oh crap, oh good. <laughs> Don't like tiptoe up to him, Zhao. Charge! Oh, okay, apparently I could only hit him once. That's fair. Back to Zhao. Oh god, oh god! No! Stop destroying your chamber. That's not. Why is there a bottomless pit in your chain? Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Had like a wily E. Coyote uh, moment there. Floor broke, but she didn't fall just yet. I don't think she realized the floor broke. Okay, charge up, and... Aw, oh, you suck. <laughs> just charging into the walls randomly. You're a little crazy there. Come on, hit him! Oh crap. Oh. Why are you landing right in front of me? Target him? Or not. That works too. God damn it. Okay, the fight went much better the first two times. The whole arena is pretty much just. Oh, I see, there's little bridges. Oh, wow, that's close. I thought that was one of the little bridges. It wasn't. There's like these little areas I don't think break, ever. It does make this arena a little awkward. Okay, come on! Yeah! Oh! Wow. I really was overleveled. Alright, what voice should he have? Whatever voice, it's probably gonna kill me, because he talks for like the next 20 minutes, and I did a deep voice last time and it hurt. Mm, what has happened to me? And, and who are you? What? You say I was being manipulated? I, Dran, the god of beasts? What an embarrassment! Hey, kid. Sorry about that. Just got a sore throat. Hmm, I see. So that's what's been happening on Earth. The Dark Genie. That's what the old man, the Fairy King, called it. If that's the case, we might be in trouble. I've heard that name before. Long ago, a monster called Black Demon appeared in East Terra. The creature caught caused massacres after massacre, and almost brought the world to an end. 
Neither the most gallant knights nor the most powerful sorcerers could stand before the horror of the creature, much less harm it. Its power seemed as vast as the limitless power of genies. Thus, people started to call it the Dark Genie. It wiped out nearly all of the known kingdoms in the world. Ultimately, only a few people survived on Earth. Then, when all seemed lost, a tribe of, called the Moon People created an enormous urn that concealed tremendous magic power and trapped the Dark Genie inside. The world recovered, and peace was restored. The world was saved by the Moon People and the mastery of the magical arts. That's about all I know. If you want to go after that Dark Genie, you'd better have the Moon People on your side. I hear that the Moon People live quietly deep in the woods, in a place located beyond the Matataki Village. The Matataki Village is just south of Norun Village. Why not go there first? Okay. Can do. Odd that the Fairy King, who never likes humans, gave a kid like you the power of that stone. He's got something up. Oh well. I can use some fresh air for a change. Hop on my back, I'll give you a lift outside. Okay, that voice was not working, most because apparently I can't breathe through my nose suddenly. And, uh, there's so many, like, really bad spikes going on in this recording, it's probably gonna have terrible quality. <sighs> oh well. And that flying animation is so derpy. Why does his wings, like, not... Like, shouldn't they all the way go down instead of, like, the, just the tips? Whatever. I appreciate your work, kid. I don't have a clue just how powerful this genie is, but it's powerful enough to control me, Dran, god of the beasts. Be prepared and take this along with you. It's my dandruff. Oh, it's a map. World map acquired. They don't need spaces, apparently. This is no plain world map, kid. It's a magical map that takes you to the place where you point to instantly. Only if you've been there first, though. First, use this map to go to the land of Matataki Village. I hear that moon people live deep in the wise owl forest, Red Flashing. I forgot about that gag. Once you reach Matataki, first thing, visit Great Tree and Red Flashing. Follow the river and you'll find it. He might look a bit weird, but he takes good care of people. He is sure to give you a hand. So long! So, looks like we have saved Dran, God of the Beasts, from being controlled by the Dark Genie. And he gave us our next step of the quest, which is to go to Matataki Village. But before doing that, we need to 100% finish this village, which the old hag here requested that she be in front of the windmill, and that we save Dram. So, since we've done that, we should now have a 100% request. Because we have 100%, we get a reward. Actually, well, he gets a reward, I get to talk in that voice for another, like, ten minutes. Which I don't really want to do. Also, I'm going to try to record in one sitting, I believe I mentioned that before, but I'll cut it up. So I, you won't have greetings and goodbyes every time. But, uh, it also means it might be kind of awkward places. I'm not entirely sure where these will be cut. Shaking my head. Way to go, kid. The villagers are happy now. I realized what the old man, Simba, saw in you. His name's Simba? Is he a lion? You just might be able to beat the Dark Genie. As a reward, I will teach you a special technique. The lethal windmill slash red flashing. Oh, God, your breath. Ah, oh, jeez. 
You may be a divine beast, but learn to use a toothbrush. Also, apparently, growling at us teaches us a skill. There's a powerful charge skill that causes enemies that causes damage to all enemies near you. I can speak. Charge with zero button, apparently, <laughs> and release it after you flash two times red flashing. Be careful, though. It eats up the whip very fast. Well, that's all I can do for now. So long, kiddo. Goodbye, Dran. I'll miss you.